Okay, tell me one more time. What is Snowflake used for? Uh, one more time. We'll say high level. Yes, yeah, yeah, or so. It's a mainly. It's a Snowflake is mainly for data migration. Where else? Migration project. Okay, so what exactly we are trying to migrate? Which type of data? Tell me. We are trying to migrate tables. So views historical data procedures and functions. We are trying to migrate. Okay, see one more time. So this is what okay. So data migration nothing but what we are trying to migrate. So tables, views, procedures, and functions we are trying to migrate. <laughs> okay, so so data migration nothing but what we are trying to move the data from Oracle database or SQL server, uh, post degree. Next step is that what post degree then okay, then Terra data. Okay, SAP. And there are so many data sources. From here, we are trying to migrate to Snowflake in the form of tables, so views, procedures, and functions. Now, come to our Snowflake topic. Now, I'm having one EMP table is there. It is having 100 records are there. Assume like 100 records are having 1 MB storage is there. Now, I want to take a backup. Okay, what are the ways we are having to take a backup in, in Snowflake? Uh, what are the ways? We can go for it. Does clone. It does clone. Like and clone okay so see it as what we'll get we'll get data plus definition and what about constraints no constraints will get populated okay so what about like no data uh, what about what are things will get populated in this, in this like of like uh, why is it like we'll have definition, definition and constraints so definition constraints. constraints will get populated okay so these are important in case okay okay same thing next up is that clone data Plus data definition plus constraints. Constraint. Okay. And one more thing is that so 100 records, 100 records will get. Okay. See here, 100 records will get. Okay. Same thing. What about here? Like there will be zero. Zero records. Zero records. Okay. Same thing. What about clone? We'll get 100 records. Now, what about 100. storage? 1 MB. How much MB will we get? It will be for C test. C test will be 1 MB. Saved. 1 MB storage. Okay, what about here? It will be 0 MB. 0, zero MB. Zero. 0 MB. So why? Because, so see, remember, if you want to take a backup, which option we should choose? We should go for cloning. So why cloning? Because it is called as 0, zero, zero cloning. In the sense like what? Without any additional storage, we are trying to take a, what? Trying to take a, Backup, backup of a table. Okay, get in the point. So see one more time. Okay, one second. Okay, so let's so see what is important. So zero copy line without any additional storage, we are trying to take a backup of a table. That's what called as zero copy call. It is copying only meta data information of a micro partition. I will explain. See this. Okay, this is more important. Okay, so this is a compulsory question. Zero copy cloning. Why it's called a zero copy clone? See these images? Okay. So go back here. Okay. Now see, this is like before that in Snowflake, data will be stored in micro partitions. Okay. In the where? In the which storage? The storage layer. Okay. Storage layer. Okay. Storage layer. Okay. So go back here. So storage layer. So, okay. So if I go for this, is assume that this is normal table, EMP table. It's having three partitions. Now what happened? I'm trying to create CTAS. CTAS is nothing but what it is taking a backup of a table. See, so they'll have separate storage will be there. Okay, that's why it is having, it's having what, see? It's having 100, 100 records, one image storage. When I go for cloning, see what happened? Cloning, there'll be only one physical storage. We are trying to take a backup of it. Okay, so tape like this, we can do. Okay, only one physical storage, we can take n number of copies. So this is fine. Now that's why it's called as zero copy cloning. Now tell me in which we can able to check information, important information, schema. Schema dot table storage. Table storage, storage matrix. Okay, what's the matrix. column name? Column name is what? ID and uh, no, column group name. ID. Column name is what? Sorry, active bytes. Active bytes, okay, see, okay. So, so private development DB, so development schema, okay. So go back here, now try to see the same. 
So remember, whatever discussed, no, we can say these are my roles and responsibilities. Okay, so for some purpose, I created one. Okay, cloning concept. Okay, I use I have taken a backup purpose. Okay, so we can say remember what a topic we are discussing. We can even say now tell me how to get my database name, my schema name. Mm, tell me how to get my yeah, database. Code, name. Like to select yeah, the current uh, database. Current underscore database. Current schema. Database. Okay, current database. Okay, current database. Ama current underscore schema. Okay, we can able to get and see the same thing. There are so many records are there, but I want to get specific records. We should go for filtering concept. Okay, so where where table catalog equals catalog to, equal to what current database. Okay. Current database. So, you will see what current happened. Data. 221 records are there. Now we'll get only our desired. Okay. Now what happened? Now I want to get so list of starting with employee okay i want to get starting with employee how can you get uh, how can you get Resume like operator okay and condition and uh, what is the condition and compulsory table like name table like, name like em employee like percentage uh, okay see employee okay see so see how many cards came so five or six okay now see the same thing Okay, see the same thing. Now take any value, see. Now see here what you'll get one more thing. Okay, here table drop is there. Okay, so I'll put now tell me I want to get this null records. I don't want this record. Tell me I want to get only null records. How to get the null records? Hmm, how to get the null we need to add we need, we need to add a condition where table drop equal to null. Is null. Equal to or is null. Yeah, is null. Is null. Because no, null see what happened if I put and table dropped equal to null, it, work, it won't work because null is no value. Now, how can you get this value? It is not Correct. possible. Now, how is to get this value? We should go for is null. Cost. Is null. Okay, is null. One second. One second. Okay, see what happened? Equal. So, we should put is null. Like this way, we can able to make it. Okay, see what happened? So, four regards here. Okay, so see the same thing. Okay, take the same. Okay, take the screen screenshot. Okay, suppose like I so I want all the records except this record. Now tell me, I want all record except this record. How can I get? I want five four record remain four record. I don't want this record. Now tell me how to write. Not like or exclude. Where where table name not equal to employee underscore t. Okay, we can put and condition you need to add and condition you can add and okay one more condition and okay and put table name not equals to not equals to employee employee underscore t yeah okay, okay I want this table name. okay so. okay this table I don't know okay suppose like I I am giving small case suppose like employee okay say employee underscore t. Okay. Not will meet work. Huh? No, it, it 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 won't work. We need to add a, a function like which is like lower and lower of table underscore name not equal to employee underscore t. Then it will convert or we need to convert employee underscore t into uppercase. Okay. Then so only it will work because in, in my database it's stored in this. Okay. So in database what database data is to data is case sensitive. Correct. Sensitive. sensitive. Yeah. So suppose if I put P R A V okay now what happened if I put so P R A V then it's only correct. Otherwise, if you put small you know it won't work because data in the database is case sensitive. Okay, now mm -hmm. I want to convert everything into the uppercase or everything into lower case. This is filtering concept. Okay, so same thing. Now what happened? You know, we can able to get the text. Okay, so see what happened? Filtering concept, pattern matching, not like this. Okay, now concept like this. Okay. Now take the screenshot one more time for understanding purpose. Okay, now see, this is already taken. Okay, from these four tables, tell me one more time which, which are the main table and which are the clone tables? Uh, which are the main tables and which are the clone tables? Check, check for the active bytes. Okay, the well, active bytes. suppose like active bytes all are zero, then suppose like all are zero. Then, then, then ID clone group ID. ID, ID clone group ID is okay, same. So we are okay, so okay, to mute yourself. So. Okay. Now remember, we are data engineers. We should see the data. So all the columns, table name, ID, clone group ID. So this one, forget about all these things. Active bytes. 
now what happened now see now suppose like all are zero then how can say it's a main table see id clone group id both are same so both are same so these are the main tables okay see these are the main table but if see clone table what happened it is see 1638 it is getting from this thing okay so get the point sum so it is cloned from this table that's why see here 3584 and here what it is zero but that's why it's called as zero copy cloning you okay, see this image there will be only one physical storage you can take n number of copies so whereas it has what happens it has tell me it has there will be separate storage that's why it's this is like this clear so far getting a little bit list like this we can able to let me getting in the points huh? so that's why it's called as zero copy cloning without any additional storage we are trying to take a backup of a particular table okay clear so far this is cloning concept okay so this is clear okay go back here now come to our one more topic okay simple topic I'm sorry. Okay, so before that, this is what way, which way? Classic construction outside. Now, which way? Important. What's your name? Snow site. Snow site. Snow site. Snow site. Okay. Same thing. Which version we're using? Which version? How to find the version? Oh, uh, edition. How many? What to buy? No, no, that is addition. I am asking version. So we should go for current eight current version. Okay. See what happened in Oracle. How to find the version? Oracle. How to find the version? Version. Select start from V dollar version. Okay. See what happened. So select the start from V dollar version. Same thing. Okay. Remember. Okay. So okay. So Snowflake made console from Oracle database. SQL Server. Okay. See V dollar version. Okay. Okay. It's a eleven G B. Okay, same thing. Now here also, how to find the version? We should go for select the current version. See, so every one week they keep on changing. See, eight point three point one one. Okay, this version. Okay, and which edition, which cloud we're using? Anyone? How to find which edition, which version? So go back here. So these are important. Okay, see. So click on this value. Okay, click on this value. Now see, we are we are in what? So we are which edition? Okay, see, we are using. Okay, so enterprise edition. Remember this region. Know what happened? If you are asking for Canada project, you will get Warren or uh, Torrent or something. Okay, U US project like this. You can able to get like this Singapore project. Yes, see. As of now, my project is here in Singapore. I am putting Asia first. Okay, so this is the cloud we are using. So these things remember. Okay, so which version we are using? Which version? Eight point three point one something. Okay, how to find by using select the current version. Okay, these are important. Sometimes they ask this basic question. Okay, and which edition we are using? We are using enterprise. Edition, okay. And which country project? This this is the in the resume. What project we mention? Those project like say Ajme, this is Toronto project. Okay, Canada like this. Okay, different different project will have different same. Now next step is that what? Which cloud we are using? Which cloud? Say Amazon Web Services. Ah, uh, tell me how many how many clouds of Snowflake supports? Snowflake supports AWS, Azure, GCP, Azure, Azure, GCP. So most of us AWS and Azure. Okay, in AWS we'll see the same thing as of now. Enterprise edition, country project AWS. Okay, so these things you now we should put in the resume. Which country project we're using? Okay, I've seen it. Mute yourself. Okay, so mute yourself. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, now come back to our one more topic. So you should also the first now first you should be comfortable with this UI. Okay, what things are there? Okay, so you go back here. So go here. Try to open new worksheets. So remember, this is assume like this is session one. Okay, so this is oh, one more session. This is session two. Okay. Now yesterday, what is it now? If you execute, suppose like if you execute one query, what happen? A query ID will be generated. Okay, copy the same thing. Copy the value. Paste here. Same thing. Now second time when execute the same thing, it will it will be same query. So same query, different query ID. Second time. Different query. It will be so. Whenever exit anything, no what happen? So see, click on this value. Okay, view query pro, same as explain plan. No, I can explain plan. See, same thing. It will be there. Okay, see query details. Okay, so success all. You see later point of time, start time, end time. So query ID. Copy the query ID and paste here. Okay, see this thing. Okay, for it. No, what happen? So for everything, it will be a query ID will be generated. And similar fashion, one more thing, we are having select a current. Session. Okay, so session bracket open bracket close. See what happened? It is giving one query. See this is the session for every session. See what happened? So this is the session. 
Okay. Same query, I did try to run in one more session. So this one, where is this concept? The temporary tables. Okay, see, now what happened? So see, this is same, both are different. Okay, so what's the point now? This is separate session, this will be separate session. Now, what, what concept come into picture now? Table types concept come into picture. Tell me what the table types you're having in Snowflake, important. Mm, tell me yeah, three types of tables. So these are, these are internal tables. Remember, these are snowflake internal tables. What are the things you're having? Permanent. Okay, then permanent transient. 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 And, uh, temporary. 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 temporary tables. Okay. So permanent table, transient table, temporary tables. Okay. See by default, which type of table you created by default? Permanent. Permanent table. By default, permanent. I'll give one example. So we'll close this topic. Okay. So so create table. Table M suppose like say T D D okay EMP simple okay simple okay I number okay same thing this is what by default is a permanent table same thing we should put for transient we should put transient keyword okay so you are ready to be confused that's why I'm trying one more time transient keyword so we should give the different name so something like transient same thing now we should put here what is the keyword for temporary table ah uh, temporary table temporary we can put create temporary table Okay, we should put either temp or we can put either temporary or temporary. Temp, temp or temporary. Any keyword we can enable. Okay, so put the same. Like this. Okay, so copy the same thing. Now what happened before now? If you want to create a first we should have one snowflake account. Tell me snowflake account. Do we need to install any software or any hardware like Oracle or anything? No. No, because say SaaS <laughs> model. Software as a service. No need to install any software or any hardware. Okay, just we should create account. And we need to work on it. Okay, clear so far. Now what happened? Now user ID password, who will use the user ID and the password? Or suppose like what is SSO? Mm, SSO single sign. Single sign off. Single sign off. Single okay. sign off. What is MFA? Multi-factor authentication. authentication. Multi-factor authentication. So it depends on the project, they'll have user ID and password or SSO or the DO mobile. Okay, like push notification will be there. Okay. So these things you should leave on push notification. Clear so far? So this is clear. I will post it. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. So Snowflake account, user ID and password. This thing will be managed. These things. So Snowflake admin guy will manage. Okay. Now tell me what's the profile? What profile is what? Snowflake admin. What are the profile you're going to apply after completion of these things? We are Snowflake developer or Snowflake data engineer. Okay. So we are called as data engineer. Snowflake. Data engines. Okay, so this is the thing. Okay. Now tell me daily what type of call will be there? The scrum call. Scrum, scrum call. call. Scrum call. Scrum call or status call. So these things now we should save. You know, roles and responsibility. My day starts with scrum call. The scrum master, the team leader, or the project manager will try to give Jira stories. Based on this, we'll try to work in the tell me directly work in the production instance. Huh? Where you should work? In the development. Okay, so test. Then UAT. What is UAT? User acceptance. Yeah, user, acceptance. user acceptance testing production. Okay, see, you remember whenever you get anything, you know, zero tickets. No, first we don't directly go to first we should work in the development, then testing, then UAT, then fraud. These are the non fraud <laughs> environments. Okay, non fraud. Okay, non fraud. Okay, so this is important. Now understand the concept. So this is fine. Now, what happened now? One more time. Now, already database is there. So, for like, so this database, I'm trying to. Okay, so it should be comfortable this UI. Okay, so click on this value. What will happen? So click on this value, what will happen? Okay, see, go back any database. Okay, so go to database. So click on any it's a schema. So click on set worksheet context. Or tell me, is there any other way? I want to get this database, this schema, which makes of use database, database name. Okay, so like this will happen. Okay, so data loading, okay. Okay, same thing. Now what happened? Use schema. Okay, so you should be comfortable with this. And tell me where we should, we should use this in SnowSQL. There we can enable it. Okay, so now this is the UI user interface. But when you see SnowSQL, now there we will use mostly the commands. It's a command line interface. Okay, data SC. So database name, schema name. Select the current database, current schema, current session, current role. All the things we can enable. See now what if this is what concept tell me? Comfort where else is this? So what? It is what it's what status it is suspended set. See auto suspend 600 seconds alteration. Anybody can have a little what exactly auto suspend alteration? Any idea? Anyone? 
saying this one auto suspend so after this much uh, time oh. it will be like uh, inactive the errors will get shut down after 5 minutes not time it's in it's it's same, 10 minutes it's similar to idle timeout correct idle timeout so for like if what happens yeah. suppose if you did if we okay Okay, so like if you, if you did not, if you do not do any queries, anything now up to 10 minutes, what happens? So it will get automatically set. Automatically, this will be suspended. Same thing. Auto resume is nothing but what? So when you perform anything now, it will get automatically registered. Tell me for performing create statement, detail statement, do you require warehouse? Huh? Uh, tell me, do you require warehouse? No, not required. Not required. Okay, see the same thing. Copy the same value. So see, create table, table, table. Okay, see what happens for details. There is no need of any warehouse, any warehouse. Okay. Now same thing. Now what happened? Now try to insert some data for understanding purpose. Okay. Insert into TT EMP. Okay, EMP values. Now what happened? Now tell me what happened. So see, it will get automatically. Okay, resume because so we mentioned auto resume equal to n equal. Okay. Now what happened in background? So when you insert what happened? Data will be stored. Ah, tell me. So data will be stored where? Okay. 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 See what happened? So data will be physically stored in the storage layer. This information will be captured in the micro part in the metadata. Layer. Okay. So when you do anything, now what happened? Record inserted. Layer record it will be captured. Okay. Now go back to our thing. Same thing. Okay, this clear so far. Now what happened? Now how does this data select star from table? Okay, it is being like this. So you can able to get. Okay, that's what. Okay, you should be comfortable. Okay, so ultimately we should work on this way. Okay, so now tell me in this database, in this schema, I want to find list of tables. Uh, how to find list of tables? Hmm, list of tables. Show tables. Show tables. Okay, show tables. You list of tables. Suppose like okay, only two tables, huh? Temporary data creator. Same name creator. Now see what happened. How many tables will get? We'll get okay four tables. But I want only these three tables. How to get? You should make sure what pattern like matching. So like. <laughs> T T T. Okay, so T T percent. We'll get this value. So, okay, see the same thing. Now we created what table? See, this is permanent table. So by default, permanent table. Yep. So what happens? See by default. Okay, temporary table. Transcend table permanent. So by default permanent table created. Okay, now see. So see by default what? So by default for all these tables, how much it's a retention time for all these tables? Important for this group. One day. One day. Okay. Default one, one day. One day. So by default, okay. Snowflake is preserving or storing the historical data of any queries up to one day. One day. Okay. One. Okay, for all these things, permanent table, temporary table, transient table. So see same. Thing. Okay. Now suppose like I assume like this is important table. I want to change from one to two days. How can I change? We should make some important concept. Tell me. Uh, how to change? By using alter. By using alter, alter state. Alter state. Alter, alter state. Okay. So important. Okay. So compulsory. Okay. See, remember what are the topics we are discussing? We should say these are my roles and responsibilities. By mistake, I did something. By the time travel concept, I account. Return the data. We can say okay. When you say now the interval will get okay. This guy has stuff. Okay, should be bluffing. Okay, say alter table, table name. Okay, set data. Set data, data retention time. So this is days. important. Okay, so if you work for Snow Pro, this keyword is important. You work for the number of days. <laughs> so alter table, table name set data equal to days. Okay. Now what happened? Now suppose like. I assume that this is my table. Okay, so this is what table? This is the permanent table. So I want to take from one day to two days. Now what happens? So it is getting automatically changed. Show tables. Show tables. See, show tables. It will be two days. So same query we can able to execute 
So how many days? Up to two days we can implement it. Okay. We have updated only one. One, okay. So, okay. So, see what happened. It will get two. Two will be there. Okay, see two. So, in the sense say what? Up to two days, same query, we can able to execute. Okay. So, this is clear, same thing. Now, what is the limitation? See, go back here. So, this is important. Okay, time travel. Okay, so table times. Okay, so go back here. Okay, so this is, see the same thing. So I should discuss just just a briefing one more time so that it will be gone. Okay, now see the same thing what happened. Okay, so permanent table. So there are, these are these are called snowflake internal tables. Important okay, internal tables in the sense like what data will be stored inside snowflake inside snowflake. Okay, one more table is an external table, they will select a part. Right? So data will be stored inside snowflake in the form of micro partitions in the data storage layer you see this is fine now what happened by default permanent table so create table table and permanent table get automatically for transient temporary we should give it transient keyword temporary keyword explicitly now see, take the same use case yesterday discuss go back here so show tables like ttt -t -t. okay percentage so see the same thing now how many tables given so three tables take the same thing Go back here now. Try to run in other session. Okay, now what's the database? The database is good. So data load database. Okay, see the same thing. Now try to exit. Now how many tables will come? Tell me what is thing? Here getting three tables. Here, how many tables will get? How many tables? Two. Two. So what which two? So temporary table won't be available. Okay, same as DTT. So it's called as so temper tables are uh, tell me session basic tables session specific tables session specific tables only particular session only it will be available in other session it won't be available so see that's what say it is available here only okay it is not available here now try to take the same now same thing what happened last one so data visible to all users all users see it is created in the current session not see the same table Okay, so take this temporary table for test. Okay, see, so select a star from as you like. This table is there here. We can able to exit. Same table. So, see, same database, same schema. Not try to exit. It will work. Tell me. It will work. It won't work because it is not there. So, it's a session specific. That's why. So, data visible to all users. All users only for the current, current user and current users. Getting a little bit at least? Yes or no? Got the point? Huh? Oh, this is clear. Okay. Yes, Praveen. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Go back here. Now, this yes. is okay. Fine. Now, say table exists until we drop explicitly. So, in a sense, like what? Suppose, like, okay, we are in this current session. So, see here, table is there. Now, try to close this session. Okay. Or log out. I'm trying to sign out this session. So, see the same thing. Okay. Login. Okay, see, so one more time. Send me. So, see, show tables. Okay, what happened? So, see, when it is, you know, what happened? See, this will say table does not exist. What happened? Tell me when you close this session or log out this session, what happened? So, table will get automatically dropped. Clear so far? Yes, get to the point, sir. So, this is session specific. Until the session yes. itself, it will be there. After closing the session, what happened? It will be not available it will not be available okay hope this is clear so this is fine okay same thing okay so these points are covered now take the same thing now what happened so time travel will be how many days it will be how many for days time travel okay so important point okay see okay see for permanent table it will be 0 to 90 we can able to make it says 0 to 1 0 to 1. Okay, see one more time. So, permanent table we can able to change from okay, so 0 to 90 days. Okay, maximum 90. Days. What about transient table? Only 0 to 1. Zero to one what about per, temporary also? Same. 
temporary set. Zero to remember. So difference between trans and temporary set is session specific, and both are same on both. And what depends on permanent table and trans and table? Suppose like after ninety days. Okay, I want to get some data back. Okay, as you as you like after ninety days, I want to get data. Then what happened? We are having the concept of fail safe. Fail safe. safe. Okay. So fail safe is nothing but what? Okay, data. Okay, once time travel ends, data move to where? Data move to fail safe. Fail safe. I'll show you image. Okay, see the same thing. If we go back here. Like this, understand is simple only. Okay, so okay, understand the concept. You should do daily practice. That's what I'm saying. Okay, if you're not able to, then what happens? Not able to understand. You see, so select start from what happen? Data will be there in the active data. Now what happen? Once we do any modification, like drop no data more to the time travel, it will be there for ninety days. Ninety days for what? Permanent table. Transient temporary table only for one day. Now once it date, now what happen? After ninety days, if you want to know what happen? Time travel period over. So records stay for under seven days after time travel expiration. So data will be there in fail set. This is called as continuous data production. So select start from here. Current data. It is historical data. Go for time travel. After ninety days, you know the data will move to the seven days. It is there in fail set. And remember, fail set is it is not in our control. Okay. So it is done by Snowflake team. Snowflake team. Okay. So Snowflake vendor. Okay. Go back here. You want to see one more image? Okay, see this image. Okay, see. So current data, so time travel. So okay, see like this. Now, so no user operation allowed. Data record only by Snowflake. Okay, it is not in our control. It is done by Snowflake support team. So it is there for only permanent table. Okay, so no difference. We got a term transient. Both are same. It says session specific. Everything will be same. Then what is the difference between permanent table and transient table? So both are tables. But what happen? After ninety days, we can able to expert. And one more thing, sir, fail safe is there. Fail safe. Get in the points, sir. So get in the points, sir. Now suppose like I want to disable time travel. Tell me what's the purpose? How to prioritize disable time travel? What? How to reach? How to do? I want to disable the time travel of the particular table. How can I achieve? Same by using order statement. Okay, if I make see, suppose like go back here. Okay, so this is permanent table. Now I put zero. Now what happened? So it will be, it will be. We are disabling the time travel. Okay, so. Disabling. Now tell me, data mode where? Fail safe. Fail safe. How long? Fail safe. How long it will be there? Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Okay. How can I read this data? We can able to read it directly. No. No. Which guys can do? We need to raise a service request to the Snowflake support vendor team so that they can able to get this data back one more time. So this is important. So fail safe is not in our control. Once the time problem. Data will be will be there in fail safe up to seven days. If you want to bring bring this data, we should raise a service request to Snowflake support team and need to bring. So generally, we don't do these things. So for for safer for safer purpose, we'll use this. Okay. So come back here one more time. So try to create one more table. Okay. So go back here, create table. So test one ID number. So Create this table now. Try to insert now. Tell me by default which type of table it is. Now which type of table it is? Permanent table. Permanent, permanent, permanent table. Permanent. So values one. So inserted first record, second record. So for everything, you know what happened? A query ID will be generated. Okay, same thing. So one more record insert, third record. Now what happens? Okay, try to insert. Try to exit this star record. Now how how does this data? By using select state. So select the star from table. Okay, so it will give you all the records, all the columns, and all the records. There are three one column and three records. Okay. So same thing now. What happened? So suppose like one junior resource is there by mistakenly he deleted some. Yeah. Data. Yeah. Okay. So by the mistakenly what happened? Okay, he deleted some data. Some data in the sense like what? So delete from. Test one. Now, but see, yeah, so take the screenshot one more time. So, by now, let me take the screenshot and try to learn. Okay. So, copy the same value. So, here it will be one to three records are there. Now, try to delete. Now, what happens? So, okay, so semicolon, control enter. So, see, data is there. Now, tell me, Snowflake rollback will work. It will work. It won't work no, because Snowflake DMLs are 
automatically committed in snowflake so dmls are auto committed okay but actually this is important data now i want to get the data back right? link expiring come back same thing same thing try to join okay so now what happened in snow now what happened i want to get this data back so actually this is important table now how can i get this data by using which concept by using which concept by using time 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 travel time travel, yes, so time travel copy the same value so this is current data current data there is no but this is the historical data i want to access historical data how can i access the historical data copy the same value we should put the so before statement okay how to get the query id 